Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the new year, third day in, and our sun has got quite a bit of plasma erecting from it. Looking at a pretty active sun the last 48 hours, mostly on the outgoing limb, as there was a pretty large CME that ejected in the outgoing position, but we have both antipodal regions really reaching from the surface of the sun right now. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see on the left side all of the plasma lifting into our heliosphere. Other than that, there are no other sun events that are cresting. Looking at outgoing, we do have those couple sunspots. The one on the left produced a CME and as well solar flare over the last few days. And it just produced a pretty sizable CME in an outgoing position. Another quick look at the two regions. Now this plasma is reaching heights of about 12 Earths stacked on top of each other. There are maybe five. But still very tall plasma filaments right now erecting from the sun. Looking at the multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the plasma dancing around. A few plasma tornadoes there in the southwest region. And no major coronal holes that are Earth-facing right now. We do have this one here developing in the southern hemisphere of our sun. Looking at the Sp ISWA space prediction spiral, we are expecting some space weather here over the next little bit and are experiencing some now. But here is that large CME I was talking about. A closer look at the CME here through LASCO 2. And this is all of 2022 for LASCO up until noon today on January 3rd. Amazing images from our sun already here for the new year. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 516 kilometers per second right now. And that's been elevated all day and all day yesterday as well but it ramped up to about 620 kilometers per second. Phi angle flipped there around the same time. Solar X-ray flux remains in the B-class range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 16. A nice low hum for our planet today. So a power of 16 and a quality of 5.8. Looking at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, we're going to start out with the largest, and that was a sizable and a very shaky 6.2 in Huan City, Taiwan, 28-kilometer depth, 64 kilometers, so just off the coast there, and as well followed by a 5.0. 5.8 also reported here in between the Marianas Trench and Japan, Bonin Islands region, 43 kilometer depth. Our deepest earthquake to report today, Fiji region, 4.5 at a 511 kilometer depth. And as well over Hawaii today, a notable 4.3 earthquake was reported in Pahala. And that is in the Volcano National Park, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, 4.3 reported there sizable earthquake having a quick look at the caldera for kilauea right now and you can see it has drained what was filled up in those lakes unalaska here 4.4 largest through the region looking at across the united states here a 3.9 in button willow california and as well, a 3.0 through the region, 21 kilometer depth. And right up into Petrolia here with a 3.0, 2.7. No major swarms to talk about except for Mexico. A couple notable earthquakes up here in Idaho. And as well, there's a couple reported through Montana. Not reported here. And here is the small swarm we're talking about here. White City, New Mexico. Largest through the swarm, 3.6. And we've got about a dozen earthquakes there in the last 24 hours. 
And then right over all of the storms, South Carolina reporting a 2.5. And Milan, Kansas reporting a 2.6. So New Madrid, a little bit of action today. Mexico, 4.4 there. Quiet through Puerto Rico, 4.7 here to report Mid-Atlantic Ridge. South America, definitely seeing some action here. Argentina, 4.1, 284-kilometer depth. As well, Abra Pampa, Argentina, 4.1. And San Antonio de la Cobros, Argentina, 4.4. All pretty deep earthquakes. So heads up, stay safe, everybody. We are a rocking right now. And Taiwan, a lot of videos are coming out of there. Very shaky, 6.2. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Most notable here, the big ones through Indonesia, Taiwan. But still, very low number for large earthquakes. We are expecting something more. Too quiet through the North American plate right now. Something I wanted to share with you here, 180, almost 180 kilometer winds are going to be reported here, forecasted for the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, heading towards Iceland and Greenland. This monstrous storm is the storm that just came out of southeastern United States. That same low pressure system, Colorado Low, it's on the coastline right now of Virginia. And you can see here the forecast as it kicks into the Atlantic Ocean and then really ramps up here, clocking almost 180 kilometer per hour winds. What is wrong with our planet right now? I mean, I, I know we're trying to transition into winter, but this is a little bit extreme. These systems are huge and nothing is stopping them. And they just keep going around to the Northern Hemisphere, around our oceans. Crazy stuff. So this is the forecast model for all the winds across the world brought to you by windy.com overlooking the Pacific kind of have the same thing progressing through here. All the low pressure systems are joining forces and creating monstrous lows or ma massive conjunctions of lows through the ocean. And look at these two big bad boys coming out of the Pacific this week. Half the size of the Pacific Ocean. And there's two of them. Something's up. Something's up, folks. Friends and family, we are on the verge of a great change, a great shift on this planet. And I can say that we've been here before. Possibly thousands of years ago. Quick look here at a cyclone that's going to be ravaging parts of northern territory of Australia. Long range. Much love to everybody and prayers for humanity. I appreciate you all joining this journey and following along with daily events worldwide. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast to show you how the polar vortex is coming along. And we're going to start out here, Ontario, home base right now. As we do have a low pressure system heading into the region little Alberta clipper, and as well, a very cold high-pressure ridge coming from Alberta. So watch for these temperatures to really dip down in the five-day forecast here. Minus double digits in the long range. We were already there last night, but we're going to get a warm front ahead of the low, and then really cold high-pressure ridge is going to pop right in, drying things out with some cold air coming from Alberta and B.C., they're still locked in minus 20 and have been for the last week. Parts of Calgary saw Chinook. And we'll be seeing another Chinook, possibly Friday. But look at all of this snow that's going to be falling across parts of Vancouver, Vancouver Island, Victoria Island. And as well, the Atlantic provinces are going to be affected by another nor'easter, but is going to ride right up the coastline. Just look at the Atlantic Ocean right now. These systems just keep joining forces. Overlooking Europe, really starting to cool down as these northeastern lows coming from Norway really starting to chill things out. And as well, you've got some systems 
bouncing off of Iceland and down into the UK, overlooking Russia, Southeast Asia, and through Pakistan here. Watch for heavy snow and extreme weather through northern parts of Pakistan as this low pressure system heads in for Friday, Saturday. Overlooking the West Pacific. Pretty big low pressure center. And it doesn't seem to be changing much at all. Look at this forecast. They just are joining forces under the upper level low. Surface lows developing. Multiple vortices. Deep polar troughs. Some really cold temperatures are going to be coming to North America, so stay warm, my friends and family around the world. No major changes overlooking South America. Heavy rains to persist, actually, through the border with Brazil and Argentina. Overlooking Africa, no major weather changes there. And as I said, Australia, watch for a cyclone developing for you, parts of Northern Territory. Australia. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere, mostly, and only the Northern Hemisphere, actually pointing out these major systems that are spinning across our hemisphere right now. Big, extreme polar vortex, and I'm going to show you even the polar vortex and upper level winds at 10,000 feet. I want to thank everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Check this out. 10,000 feet. These are our winds. Upper level winds, 329 kilometers per hour at 10,000 feet. Much love. Stay safe out there. And prayers for humanity. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.